Hey guys, thanks for taking some time to watch this video today. Uh, before we jump into this topic, I have some free filmmaking assets linked below in the description, so make sure to check those out. So is it possible to shoot an entire music video using only your iPhone? With all the brand new camera bodies out there that are becoming more affordable than ever, are we at a point with phone technology to shoot entire projects with? My answer to this question is an absolute yes. So I recently had an entire music video shot on an iPhone 11. As a DP for this project, I was given the task of shooting and lighting the entire music video using only an iPhone 11. When I first got the brief for this video, I almost panicked because I had no idea how to make this video look good using only an iPhone. I was so worried that this project was going to look horrible because of my past experience editing projects with iPhone footage where it's incredibly difficult to color correct or tweak any of the footage. But after this experience, I am convinced that it is possible to shoot your entire project using only an iPhone. I mean, look at all the recent Apple commercials that have been entirely shot on the iPhone. They look really great and well done. Granted, these commercials are shot with commercial budgets, not with music video budgets. In terms of budget, it's like comparing a Great Dane to a Chihuahua. So in order to shoot a good quality music video on the iPhone, you're gonna need these five things, give or take. Now, is it possible to shoot the whole video not using any of these things yes it is possible but when you have these five things on set they will increase your production value by tenfolds. Tip number one is to have the right recording app on your phone. So for this music video, I shot the whole project using the Moment app. The Moment app is excellent because you're able to change your settings, such as your ISO, shutter speed, uh, you can even change your white balance. Uh, if you wanna do manual focus on the camera, you're able to do all this stuff. So I'm gonna jump into the app real quick and show you guys how it works. Okay, so one of the great things that you can do here is you can change your shutter speed. Um, like I have it on 1 over 48th if you're shooting in 24 frames. Um, if you're shooting in slow-mo, you're able to change it. And as you tweak it, you can see the exposure changes on the phone as well. You can change your ISO, make sure that you're meeting um, the right exposure in the environment you're shooting in. You can even change to, to manual focus if you want to. Um, you can tweak your white balance like right now. My temp should be around 4700, 4800. Um, you can also change the recording format. So if you wanna shoot in 4K, right now it's in 720. And you can also change your frame rate. So if you wanna shoot in slow-mo or in 24 frames and another great feature that this app has is you can shoot you can sort of pick um, the log format to where you can shoot more flat it looks more like ProRes so you're able to tweak um, your exposure you know mess with your highlights and your shadows if you need to another great feature on this app is that um, if you've ever used any of the moment lenses you can click on this top right corner and pick um, the lens that you're using on the iPhone. So for this music video, like for example, I used the telelens and whenever, if I have the telelens on, it would automat automatically correct the screen to fit that focal length. If you're shooting a project on the iPhone, proper lighting is essential. So keep in mind when you're recording with the iPhone, even if it is in 4K, you're still recording in 8-bit, so there's not much dynamic range um, and much flexibility in post to tweak um, shadows or colors or things like that that you need to um, change especially with exposure if you have anything that's underexposed or overexposed um, you're pretty much at a loss so you can't recover any of that data so make sure that if um, you're shooting a person performing make sure that their skin is lit properly another great app to use for filming on the iPhone is called filmic pro it's only a couple bucks more expensive than the moment app and it can pretty much do everything that the moment app already does and the reason I just like using the moment app is because of the user interface and I just feel more comfortable using this app versus filmic but they're both great apps to use on set item number two make sure that your iPhone is on some sort of a stabilizer so for this music video I actually ended up using a Ronin s to stabilize the camera um, the in-body image stabilization in the iPhone isn't quite there and there are some uh, certain types of shot that I wanted to get that I knew I would only be able to get using a Ronin S. 
Now there are tons of other stabilizers out there that are made for the cell phone. Um, but because I was most comfortable using the Ronin S, I didn't feel the need to get another stabilizer just for this one shoot. With using the Ronin S, I was able to do some barrel rolls, um, get certain movements such as certain types of tilts and pans that I needed to do for the shoot that I wouldn't have been able to do with some other stabilizers. And another thing that I really liked about having a stabilizer is just that it gives you flexibility to move wherever, um, whenever you want. If you're just shooting handheld with an iPhone, it's just not going to look the best and you, you'll be able to tell that um, even with the stabilization that it's not really that well stabilized. So an extra tip that I would give you guys is to get one of these little mounts that can go on your tripod. You can just mount it to your tripod plate. And what's great about it is that it can just go to your iPhone, super easy, and then you can just mount this to your Ronin S. Item number three is having good lenses. Having good glass is essential to making your iPhone footage looking extra crisp. The lens on the iPhone is pretty good, but I just wanted to take this project a step further. Now this is where the moment lenses come into the game. Uh, for this project, I was given a 58 millimeter tele lens and also their anamorphic lens uh, to shoot with. And both of these lenses were really fun to work with. They're super sharp and they just really take the quality of your footage to another level. So if you're planning on shooting a whole project using your iPhone and maybe have some room in your budget, I would say go to Moments website and grab some of their lenses because they're all really fun to work with. Item number four is having a haze machine on set. Haze is key because it just adds a cinematic texture to the environment you're shooting in. It just fills the whole space and it just makes things look good, makes light look good. Uh, especially on the iPhone, it ended up looking really great on the set and it just added so much value to the whole production. And then item number five is having some sort of RGB lights on set, whether if it's a quasar or a sky panel or anything that you can throw a gel on. Um, and the reason I say this is because the iPhone doesn't always do the best job registering skin tones really well, even using the Moment app and tweaking the white balance and trying to mess with all that. It doesn't always register the best, but whenever you do throw a color on someone, it looks awesome and it's really uh, it's really easy to work with in post when it comes to color correcting. So having some kind of RGB lights on set, like for this um, video, we were using three apertures that we threw blue gels on and then for the other set, we had a Lico with a red gel and another Lico that was just um, that was just tungsten. But the gels really help just elevate the value of the video and just your whole production as well. So have some sort of RGB lights on set and it'll help your production. If you do choose to have RGB lights on set, make sure to keep your white balance consistent on your filming app because even with the slightest tweak, colors do look different. So as long as you're consistent with your white balance, everything else should turn out great. If you have all these five components that I just named on set while you're shooting with your iPhone, your project will turn out surprisingly a lot better than you thought, trust me. As technology progresses, I truly believe that in the next few years, shooting projects on your iPhone and also just editing on the iPad is totally going to be the new norm. With these things getting faster and better every year, I think we're going to see more um, filmmakers or even musicians using their iPhones to shoot great quality music videos. And I mean, it doesn't quite replace uh, shooting with a professional cinema camera, but I think with the quality and um, the technology that's getting better, uh, I think this is going to be uh, more of a norm than uh, having to buy an A7S II or a new brand new Canon C300 or something to use for a music video. Overall, I love how this Love You Later music video turned out and I hope that inspires you guys to go out and make your own music videos using the iPhone. So what are your initial thoughts about filming an entire project using this iPhone only? Are you afraid or do you have some friends that will probably beat you up if they saw you filming a project with this thing? Uh, comment below, I would love to hear from you guys. And as always, if you're interested in getting some free filmmaking assets, I have a link down below in the description. So make sure to check that out. And thanks for watching again and I'll see you guys soon.